Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Hey, good morning. Today is day four of our Alaska trip. What did we do yesterday? Uh, we did a lot of different things. We got off at Icy Strait Point. We uh, ended up eating a lot of food, which is obviously great. And, yep. And then relaxed, you know? Icy Strait Point was so good. The, the temperature was perfect. It wasn't that cold or that hot. We did a long walk, even a run. <laughs> Um, we visited the brewery and their downtown area, it which cute. is, it it's was a really lovely cute. city. Uh, today we are going through the glacier, so going we're, to the Hubbard glacier. we're on our way to the Hubbard Glacier. Uh, we should be there in a couple hours. And once we get there, the ship will stop uh, and rotate throughout the day so everyone can enjoy the views. We'll see you guys soon. Uh, my sleeping schedule is back to normal. That's something that people don't talk about when they go to Alaska. Your, your sleeping schedule is going to be all messed up. But I think that I'm ready to go today. Uh, I finally slept over seven hours. And uh, ready to party. Not really. You don't party on Alaska cruise. Although, last night we did San Francisco. And it was a lot of fun. We're going to Ocean View Cafe for breakfast. It's our routine. They have a lot of options. No washi washi. No washi washi today. She's busy. Oh, it's quiet in here. Ooh, look at the dessert options. Uh, fruits. Yum. Stations. Hi, good morning. How are you? Um, I'm gonna do just a white toast. Toast it, please. Yeah. What do we have today? Omelette, French toast, more omelette. I'm gonna give the French toast a give it a try. Is her view today? Oh, hello. We're almost there. Yeah, I think we're going right there in the middle. I know it's windy out, so sorry for the wind noses. But look at that view. Whoa. It's like 40 something degrees out here, but with the wind, it makes it colder. Um, when you go to the glaciers, just make sure that you're you're putting layers on, that you're, you're staying warm because it gets pretty shitty out here. As we approach the glaciers, they uh, have the navigation system uh, just announcing some history behind it. Um, you can just open the doors and you'll hear from your television. They're not announcing it through the speakers just because they want to respect the wildlife around here. However, the TV works just fine. But look at this view. Uh, another ship. What is that? Silver view. Silver station. It's leaving, right? Yeah. So it's our time to pull in into the glacier. Um, I think they led one ship at a time. But wait until you guys see this. Um, I took a peek of it earlier from the front of the ship. And it was unbelievable. That view was just oh, out of this world. A bit more information about the retreating and advancing of this glacier in particular. Earlier, I spoke about the general information about glaciers and how they form. But now I would like to take a little bit more time to explain specifically the Hubbard Glacier. A quick reminder, however, that the Hubbard Glacier is a tidewater glacier. For those of you who are still here, we will switch your hands to a tide. And we have just made it to the Hub. How do you call this? Hubbard Glacier. Hubbard Glacier. This is the closest I've been in in a long time, they were saying. Um, we're probably a mile away from them. Uh, 
And this and isn't even the main part, so it will spin a little bit more, and we'll see. But show them the scenery, all of the ice Look fields at this and all view. that. It's crazy. It's amazing. Oh my god. We're just a seal. We're still in the glaciers, but we thought that the one we showed you guys was the one. Well, until you see this. One, two, three. Whoa. Look at that. How beautiful. Look at those colors. Wow. We're like right up against it. It's rolling off the off the glacier. Take a moment to enjoy the view. We just spin a little bit. So, look at those colors, the blues. You can hear it cracking. And it also got very cold. <laughs> This is just unreal. Um, the view is just beautiful. It got so cold. It's probably like in the 30s right now, right? And it it's feels feel, yeah, it feels cold just because we're so close to the ice. But this view, it's um, something that I, I don't know if the camera I can make justice. But oh, there's a seal. Let me see if you guys can see the seal. Bye, seal. Silly, silly. That's a seal right there. And then, ready? It's cracking again. Oh, there's right there. Yeah. I see it. Whoa. Look at that. So, guys, you can hear it crack. And then, uh, it's like a thunder. Like thunderstorms. So they said that this is the fastest it's, it has melted in history. Um, a little concerning. My silly seal. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh yeah, this seal it? swimming right here. So as we sail away from the Hubbard Glacier, just a quick review on how it was, some tips and tricks to keep in mind when you are uh, sailing on any sailing here. So uh, one, it was absolutely amazing. It was a really beautiful. beautiful morning for us. We spent a couple hours here. The ship floated around, spun. We saw some seals. We saw uh, a lot of like chunks of ice floating around. It was like we were in an ice field. Um, and then we saw the, uh, the glacier. We saw it calving, is, which is when uh, giant pieces of ice come falling off. It was cracking, so too. It was really cool. What was also super cool about this was uh, the, the crew on the ship, and I'm not sure that they said this to everybody, but uh, they, they said that you know in their 12 years of uh, going yeah, on these types of sailings and stuff, that this was the closest that they've ever been able to get to the glacier because of how the weather was, the conditions of the fjord, and all that stuff. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better day. It was sunny, it was a little cold, but it wasn't freezing. Yeah, probably and 40s. It was so clear that they were able to get very close to the mountains and the glaciers. Mm -hmm. So really, a couple of quick tips to think about. One, make sure you pack appropriately weather-wise. You always want to make sure you have the right amount of clothing layers that's the best layers, way to go yeah because I it think... gets warm it gets cold it gets warm mm -hmm. it gets cold so you want to be able to take layers off you want to be able to put layers on i think the best tip is the layers um because some people bring a big coat and then they'll get warm and they don't yeah. have layers mm -hmm. to like remove yeah so i recommend just bringing layers don't bring a big coat especially in the summer 
because you don't know how the temperature is going to be. But bring like sweaters, sweatshirts, and all that. A packable down is always a good way to go. I mean, right now I'm wearing a sweater. It's nice out, a little warm mm -hmm. uh, right now. But uh, earlier it was not a little warm. I had a blanket over me. Bring so, sunglasses. Yeah. It, it gets pretty sunny out. At least in Dark Sailing, it has yeah. been very sunny. So make sure that you're putting those shades on. And then we, we selected a sunset veranda for this trip. Uh, we loved it. We had to be patient because when you're coming up to the glacier, the ship is pulling in face first. So we didn't see any of it mm -hmm. until we got there. So it was almost like just the, the big reveal when we spun around. And then we were able to look at it for a while. And right now, if you look behind us, it's still there along with the Holland America ship. Yeah, so the way they do it is that they pull in and then they start turning the ship around. So be patient. Some people will run to the front of the ship and then to the side. If you have a balcony room, I recommend you to stay there, enjoy the views. Uh, you, you'll see mountains and ice and you'll see animals and wildlife. Yeah. So take your time to explore your eyes and your views uh, and don't rush. Trust me, you're, you're going to get to see it. But if you don't have a balcony room, I will recommend to talk to either uh, the staff or someone that works for the cruise line and they'll let you go into the heliport uh, that we're passing headphones, binoculars, um, I mean, the, the celebrity blankets. blankets. Celebrity really made sure that people were comfortable and also enjoying the the cruise stuff very well. Yeah. I think that might be all we have on the Hubbard Glacier, but, uh, you know, stay tuned for more. Yeah, we don't have anything planned for tonight. Uh, it's It's been a very tiring day just looking at, at ice, pretty much. Uh, but we've been on the on the sun for for a long time. Lots of coffee. Lots of coffee, and also we're still battling with the time change. But that's all we have. If we do anything else, we'll show you. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy the views.